happens to you, I suppose. I use the metaphor of cardboard boxes. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of silly, but follow me here. So think of a cardboard box. I have a cardboard box on my page that represents a paragraph. And I might have another cardboard box that represents a table. And I might have another box that represents a graphic, or IMG, which is code for an image, right? Now I'm going to use the example of a table here. So I decide I want to have a table on my page. And this is where things start getting a little bit more interesting. What you need to know about HTML as well is it's all about putting elements inside other elements. Or think of cardboard boxes inside other cardboard boxes or containers inside other containers or you know sometimes in class I'll make a joke I'll say you know HTML is kind of like IKEA furniture it's all modular it all fits with everything else right so different pieces can fit with other things in a manner of speaking right so let's kind of explore this here let's say for example that I want to create a table on my page well inside my table I'd actually have another element or in my example here I want two more elements called TR now what the heck is TR TR is code for a table row I want two rows inside my table so I've got to put two table row cardboard boxes inside my table cardboard box if that makes sense and then if I want to go even further maybe I want to put cells inside each of my rows so then I'd have to have TD boxes. Now TD is geek speak or code speak for what you and I would call a table cell. It's just a table cell. It's called a TD though. So the TDs go inside the TRs. The TRs go inside the table. I hope that makes sense. It's all about boxes inside boxes inside boxes inside boxes. Sometimes people say, you mean this is like Russian dolls, like little dolls inside a larger doll inside a larger doll? Yeah, exactly the same idea. So anyway, whatever metaphor works for you, I hope this is happening for you. Now, how would this look inside code? Well, here's the same graphical representation, but now we have some code. And this is would be the actual code for coding out a table inside Dreamweaver or for our web page. Now, let me kind of break it down here for you. First of all, we have the innermost containers or boxes, our TDs or our cells. There they are, selected for you there. I've highlighted them there for you. The next box out or the next container out would be our table rows, right? And then the final outermost box would be the table itself. So, in other words, all these boxes get dropped inside larger boxes. I hope that's working for you. And once I've dropped all my boxes inside the other boxes, I tape the lid shut, something like this, and then I take that box, that table, and I start putting it among other cardboard boxes like images and paragraphs and headings and divs and other tables and so on and so on and next thing I know I've got an entire page layout that's how it works so there's my overall page for example so really it's all about boxes inside boxes so if you can wrap your head around the concept of boxes inside boxes then you're gonna do just fine with HTML and the reason why I use a table as my example is because it's probably one of the more complex page objects that requires a lot of boxes inside boxes so if you can wrap your head around that then the rest of HTML honestly is gonna be nothing so you may wanna rewind this video and watch it again if you like if you're still not really getting it but